Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dan, and welcome back to my kitchen for yet another unboxing and review video. In this box is the Alga Laser Pixie Smart Laser Engraver. I have never used lasers, nor have I engraved with them. So let's go ahead and open it up. No PCs needed. Okay. It's adorable. The user manual. <clears throat> Placing any living body under the laser emission port is strictly forbidden. Damn it. Nice. This flange just uh, clicks like that. Oh yeah. Oh, more goodies. Okay, that goes in here. All right, I'm gonna move this over to the laser engraving room and let's test some pieces out. I brought this out to the workshop because uh, there's a big fan in the ceiling right here. So any smoke will just go up and out. And I don't have smoke alarms in here, so I can't set them off. Let's start laser cutting. This little guy is my depth gauge and look, it's got a little holder. The setup couldn't have been easier. Out of the box, the Pixie is basically ready to go. The Pixie has four main options after turning it on. Text, sketch, controls, and projects. The text option lets you type characters on screen and then laser engrave it. While the sketch option allows you to draw on the screen and then laser engrave that. The controls button allows you to move the laser on the X and Y axis. The projects button is where all the preloaded files for the laser engraving and cutting are. My laser cutter is the 10 watt version, meaning that I can change the laser power from 3 to 5 to 10 watt in the top right corner. However, before using the machine, I had to set the laser to the proper height. To do this, I used the little hammer tool to set the laser's height while adjusting the screw on top of the laser. The machine is a class 1 laser and requires a password to be entered every time it's turned on. It won't start laser cutting unless the shield is placed down and instantly stops the process if the shield is lifted during a cut. It does automatically resume once the shield is placed down. For my first test engraving, I decided to do the preloaded Algo Laser brand image. But because I hardly read user manuals, you can see what happened. Oops. I wasn't paying attention. It, it looks really good though. That's my bad. If I had read it, I would have known that clicking the square button shows me the outer frame limits of the work before it starts the laser engraving or cutting. I decided to laser engrave my headphone case. However, they were too tall, so I had to adjust the height of the machine. Removing the four screws on the back allowed me to lift the unit up higher. After it was the correct height, I started engraving. And I gotta say, I was actually pretty impressed with how well it came out. So next I decided to try laser cutting the preloaded fishbone keychain. For being the first thing I ever laser cut, it came out really nice. The laser engraving on the top was really clean and it perfectly laser cut the wood out. But I didn't read the user manual again because the bed has two sides. The flat side is for engraving and the ribbed side is for cutting. I wanna do some more laser cutting. So I just go back from the store with some wooden squares and circles. These are about two to three mil thick. I laser cut the preloaded base, karambit, and plant scenery files as well. They all came out super nice and were really fun, but it just wasn't enough. In order to custom make laser cuts, I downloaded the Lightburn software. After installing it and connecting to my Pixie via USB Type-C, this allows me to connect directly to the laser cutter and control it from my computer. I purchased these Pokemon card SVGs from Etsy. I had to slightly shrink the cards down and cut each panel on a separate board. It took a second to figure out, but after changing the line color speeds and power percentage, I got a hang of it. Charizard looks fantastic. I also cut Venusaur and Blastoise as well to complete the trio. I still need to learn the software a little bit more and figure out the best settings to make them look way better. They all look super cool and I'm really glad I made them. Alrighty guys, it's time for my thoughts on the laser engraver. To start off with, the price for the laser engraver varies by the model that you choose. There's a 3 watt, 5 watt, and a 10 watt. The 3 watt is 471, the 5 watt is 551, and the 10 watt is 611. However, they're currently running a Black Friday deal. The 3 watt is 159, the 5 watt is 199, and the 10 watt is 329. And this is actually a massive deal considering the other prices for laser cutters in the market. So overall, the Algo Laser Pixie Smart Laser Engraver is a fantastic little machine. This is the 10 watt version and I can 
say that I'm honestly extremely impressed with how simple this machine is to use. It's compact, clean looking, and ready to use right out of the box within minutes. As someone who's never used a laser cutter or engraver before, after spending about an hour or two messing around with this and reading the user manual, I was very comfortable with using this and cutting basically anything I wanted to. So whether you're gonna be making little gifts, adding details to 3D printed parts, or just making whatever you want, I'd say that the Algo Laser is the best place to start. It's just a great little machine that's cost effective, easy to use, and ready to go whenever you want. I want to say thank you to Algo Laser for sending me this, and also a big thanks to you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.